pull the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone else strike the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock With Yak. With Hermione right by his side, the bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. Yeah. All the dreams and all the He's dope. mean and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock who unstriped the zebra? Actually, the case is simple. The culprit is Miss Orange. Oh. She attacked Dr. Vermillion in the Rose Garden with a rolling pin. And there, you win again. Right. Being a detective is a real profession. You're right. I never solve any of the crimes, even when we play Criminello. I'll, I'll never be a real detective. What are you talking about, Hermione? It's only a game. You can become a fine investigator. You just need a little more experience. I was a beginner once, too. Because this is the eighth time you started over, I'll give you a clue, young disciple. The black rock is less to the right and more to the left, but it is not at the end. Where is it? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Your powers of deduction are very limited. You're not cut out to be a detective. <laughs> But I hung on, hung on, hung on. And you see, I became a detective. You'll become one too one day. I'll never have your powers of deduction. Mm. Oh. This is Sherlock Yak. Oh, it's you, Zebra. No, no, you're not bothering me. By all the trees and all the zoos, I'm on... Hmm. Uh, I mean, Hermione and I are on the go. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, but I have to show you this. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh. Scottish patterns? Yes, and a very nice tartan at that. Whoever painted this on you is a real artist. I woke up this morning and there it was. I can be seen from miles away. It'll bother everyone. It's shocking. <laughs> Tell me, you're the one who won the best striped animal in the zoo contest, right? Yes, yesterday. Well, we already know the motive of the crime. Uh. One of your competitors got upset by your victory and decided to take revenge. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Who were the other contestants? Tiger, Okapi, and the garter snake. If only I hadn't won. Tell me, do you smell something? Like the smell of oranges in the air? Of course, Hermione, that's right. Aha, a clue. Oh. I knew that one couldn't paint such an elaborate design without a model, but one detail intrigues me. You said you woke up this morning with this design, yet you only called me this afternoon. That's true. I sleep very little usually. But in fact, today, I woke up only an hour ago. Fine. I declare this investigation open. First step, visit Tiger. Mm -hmm. You see, you're a fine investigator, Hermione. You noticed that strange orange perfume at Zebra's place. Yes, but you had noticed it too, right? Yes, of course. There, it's uh, always the same. You always notice things before me. The orange scent, the type of tartan, you're always finding things. I should change jobs, I assure you. Hmm? Hmm. Tell me, don't you think there's the smell of... Oranges? <laughs> Hard not to notice it. Of course. Strange, Tiger isn't anywhere around. That's right, I noticed a... Uh, um, I mean, uh, good observation, Hermione. If you want my opinion, Sherlock, a suspect who flees is a... <laughs> <laughs> At ease, soldiers. Nothing like a little ambush to keep in mind your powers of camouflage learned with the commandos. Powers which could have allowed you to paint the zebra without him noticing. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right, Colonel? Zebra was painted? That's right, with a tartan design. It wasn't me. I'm an honorable animal who respects the rules. I was defeated and I lost. Even if between you and me, I think that I'm much better striped than Zebra. <laughs> hmm. It's surprising to take blood oranges as a model to paint green apples. What are you talking about? Hmm? Go see the supply sergeant soldiers and tell them to give you some glasses. I took some blood oranges as models and I painted some blood oranges. Uh, your tablecloth is a little strange too. Absolutely not. I painted red and white. Are you doubting my word as an officer? 
your luck, hmm? I think Tiger is... Colorblind. I know. He confuses red and green. I saw it right away. Of course. Oh. Hermione, I... Oh? Mm. Do you really think these oranges are strange, Sherlock? <laughs> Next time you paint some blood oranges, take some green apples as models. You'll be surprised by the result. At your orders. <laughs> Hermione, wait, don't get upset now. You were very observant with the checkered tablecloth. And you about the rest. No, Sherlock, I'm sorry, but the more things go on, the more I'm sure that I'm not made for this profession. I have to find something else. Ugh. Look, there are other jobs I can do. Delivering the mail, hmm. cut hair, or sell practical joke items. You have to be very meticulous when delivering the mail. Cutting hair means being very good with your hands. For practical joke items, you have to have a certain sense of humor. Mm. Oh, Hermione, you take everything the wrong way. I didn't mean to say you lacked any of those qualities. Imagine all the beautiful people holding hands together. Ooh, yeah. Hello, Okapi. Huh? Say, your painting isn't very cheery. Though I'm a little sad today because I lost the competition for best striped animal in the zoo. You usually paint with green and blue colors, right? Yeah, but today I've entered my gray period, or black or gray and black. I'll see. Imagine all the beauty. Did you see, Sherlock? A copy is painting yeah, geometrical shapes. Yeah. Like those of the tartan. I noticed that, of course. Oop. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, I'll let you continue, Hermione. Imagine I have to uh, think about my notes. <laughs> See, that kind of job looks kind of interesting. Do you need lots of qualifications? Painting abstract designs? No, not really. I wasn't talking about your painting, Okapi. I was talking about your plants. It's nice and relaxing, all those nice smells, those natural products, those delicious herbal teas. Oh, that, yeah, it's pleasant. Tell me about your work, Okapi. By all the trees and all the zoos, what a fool. The case is simple. The victim, Hermione's mood, the culprit, Sherlock Yak, who doesn't know how to talk to her. What am I gonna do now? Flowers? Nah, it wouldn't be enough. A gift? She might take it the wrong way. Litter women Criminello? I couldn't do that. A good restaurant? She'd see the whole thing coming. A new music player? No way. Promise her never to play bagpipes again? Mm, I couldn't stand it for a week. Huh? This is Sherlock Yak. By all the trees and all the toes, I'm on the go. Hmm? Hermione tried to mix a bunch of relaxing herbal teas. She must have overdone it. Say, that smells like orange blossom, right? Yes, there's some of the blend. Hmm. Sherlock, don't say anything. I know I'm not made to be an herbal doctor. No matter, Hermione, because you're made to be a detective. Matter of oh. fact, we have another suspect to interrogate. Mm. <laughs> Bird of Paradise's studio? I thought we were going to interrogate the garter snake. That's right, but Bird of Paradise is her painting teacher. She's having her first exhibition at his place. How horrible. Oh, buddy, that is really ugly. No talent at but all. But it is a marvel, a totally marvelous, marvelous thing. That's strange. Bird of Paradise usually doesn't give out any compliments. That's right, and he seems all strange today. You don't know what you're talking about, Bird of Paradise. Garter mm. Snake just doesn't know how to paint. Mm -hmm. She, she, she paints marvelously. It's really quite beautiful. Did oh. you see? The garter snake has hypnotized him. Like the bird of paradise, it's very efficient. She used the same technique to paint the zebra without his realizing it. We have to interrogate that snake, Hermione. <gasps> Good idea, Sherlock, but I'm not sure that'll be necessary because I know who the culprit is. Huh? What about you, young detective? Do you know who did it? If you followed the investigation closely, I'm sure you can figure it out. Someone painted a tartan design on the zebra stripes without his realizing it, even though he's a light sleeper. Three animals could hold a grudge against the zebra. Tiger, Okapi, and Garter Snake. But only one of them committed the crime. So, have you guessed who the culprit is? Actually, the case is simple. Hermione, would you mind? 
Mm -hmm. Tiger, you're a camouflage expert. Uh. You could have painted the zebra while he was asleep without alerting him. But could you have painted such a splendid tartan with the corresponding colors, knowing that you're totally colorblind? Colorblind me? What are you insinuating, soldier? Garter Snake, you could have hypnotized the zebra and painted him without him realizing it had happened. But could you have drawn such a complex design as that tartan when you're only a beginner at painting? Mm. The culprit must be someone who knows how to paint. And who can put people asleep? Isn't that right, Akapi? Because the culprit is you. Huh? Huh? Disappointed because you didn't win the contest, you put Zebra to sleep by burning some plants, especially some orange blossom, which is what left the smell of oranges at the scene of the crime. You then had plenty of time to paint the zebra with your favorite colors, green and blue. Huh, you don't have me yet. Thanks to a blend of super relaxing plants, I'm gonna put you all to sleep. Garter Snake, stop him! Ah, ah, no! Uh, I think I'll just give up instead. Yeah, I'm gonna give up and accept a well-deserved punishment. That we will choose very carefully, Okapi. <laughs> so, Zebra, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, I don't know. Isn't it a little bit showy? Huh? It's different to black and white. You gotta see life in color, Zebra. But others will see me in color, too. That's the point. <sighs> All right, fine. Let's take it one step at a time. Just one flower for today, tomorrow another one. Okay. Uh, this time, I'm the one who found the culprit. Maybe I'm cut out to be a detective after all. I'm sure of it, Hermione. Hmm? But tell me the truth, Sherlock. Did you find out who it was before me? Mm. Oh, uh... Well, uh, no, Hermione, I didn't know. Hmm. A little game of Criminello, Sherlock? With pleasure, oh. Hermione. Super! Hmm.